When you're scrapbooking, adhesives are really important because that's what holds the whole project together. So I have an assortment of adhesives here and I want to show you just a few. Over here we have an assortment of wet adhesives or glues. Glossy accents and other products such as diamond glaze can be used as an adhesive but they also allow you to apply a hard glossy accent to your project. Zip Dry is a really popular wet adhesive with paper crafters because it's made especially for paper crafting. And then we also have a glue pen, which has glue but acts like a pen, hence the name. And so let me show you how that works. Glue pens are really good, particularly for small items like these butterflies I've just punched out. So all you'll do is, is um, apply a little glue to the uh, butterfly, and this one has a is a squeeze and roll so you kind of have to squeeze the pen a little bit and then there's my glue. I'm going to flip it over and this would be easier if I had a pair of tweezers but I don't so there it is. So that's my butterfly. We also have a glue stick. Um, everybody's familiar with with what these are. Um, this one is photo safe I'm not personally a big fan of glue sticks because I just find I get really messy with them, but some people really like glue sticks for scrapbooking, so it's a personal preference. Over here we have an assortment of dry adhesives, and they come in several different categories. So here we have several different types of tape runners and glue runners, and this lets you just lay down a line of a dry adhesive, and here's an example of how that works. So here's my butterfly, and then I'm just going to give this a little stroke, and then the adhesive is right there, and you can see how it's sticking to my finger. And so that one goes down. And many of these are also refillable, which is nice. Another way that I could adhere a little butterfly like this is with a glue dot, or Zots, is this particular brand name. And the way this works is you have this strip with these tiny dots of glue and all you have to do is pick up your item, lay it on there so that it picks up that glue dot and then put it on your project, just like that. In addition to the, uh, the rollers and the glue dots, uh, 3D dots or foam dots are also another really great adhesive. They're double-sided foam and Give, give you a little bit of dimension on your project. Double-sided tapes are also great to have. Some of them you can just tear off the roll, others you need scissors, and the red liner tape in particular is a super duper strong adhesive. So if you're putting something together that you wanna make sure it really stays or you're not sure if it's gonna stay, chances are this will do the trick. And then washi tapes or paper tapes are single-sided, but they're decorative, so they're also a really nice adhesive to have on hand. And finally, there's a stapler. And we all know how a stapler works. Some of us might be a little leery about putting staples in our scrapbook, so that's again a personal decision. If you're concerned about archival quality and keeping your scrapbook safe for generations to come, you may want to steer clear of staples and metal things that might rust later on. But if that's not a concern of yours, then have at it with the staples. So again, wet adhesives, dry adhesives, and let me just show you this one page. I love it because it's beautiful, but it also is a great example of how all these different adhesives can be used. From the dimensional items to this square that's popped up with the foam dots to pieces like this that would use maybe even glossy accents to hold it down. All a different assortment of adhesives will stand you in good stead in your scrapbooking.